Today we're going to be building the Fairchild Republic A-10 Thunderbolt 2, aka the Warthog, the plane built around the gun. The gun being the Gal-8 Avenger, which is exactly where we're going to start with our build. The Avenger fires a 30mm projectile at 3900 RPM, which can do some really incredible damage. And we're going to try to replicate that with the firework cannons. And we're going to start out by overclocking them. We're going to do a little test rig here and put some control, of course, and a uh, few batteries on there. And we're going to overclock it to around 400 on the launch velocity bar there. Then we're just going to plot around 8 to 10 little points on this other cal unit each one of those points is going to be a firing of the cannon as you can see it works pretty well already and then we're going to double our cannons and then triple them <laughs> so now we have three uh, different cannons and all together this adds up to about 24 shots in a one second period which adds up to about 2800 rpm which isn't quite the 3900 RPM of the actual gal, but this will do for right now, especially given that I'm not wanting to clip too many parts in each other here and have the crack and destroy this whole thing. So we're going to copy over our same charts, uh, the little plot points there that will uh, fire, and we're going to have two separate firing sections. Uh, one's going to control the first burst and two will control the second burst. And you can see me firing two different bursts there. One's more of an orange color, one's more of a white color. And uh, now we're just going to drag this into sub-assemblies and name it Burt. <laughs> then we're going to get started on the actual plane now. Now I had quite a bit of trouble getting the nose right. It's a pretty odd nose to do with Kerbal Space Program's given stuff. It drops off really quickly. It's not like a long point or anything. And uh, I got close enough for our purposes. So we're going to offset everything and this basically ends up looking exactly like what the gal looks like inside the A-10. So I was very happy with that and uh, just kind of tweaking everything around getting the main fuel tank there and fuselage and uh, trying to figure out what tail I need to use and <laughs> what length I need to use of tail. And now we're going to mount those gigantic engines on there. So basically I'm just holding them up with two wings and uh, I'm going to use a uh, whatever those are called, in engine nacelles, and then uh, just some intakes and stuff. I think that looks pretty close, as is right there, to the actual uh, engines on the A-10, which is pretty surprising. Uh, the wings are actually rounded a little bit, and so I wanted to recreate that rounded look, which is kind of difficult, but uh, I mean, I clipped some things in there, turned off their uh, control surfaces, and uh, kind of got that rounded look going. Got that little uh, two-step like swoop going in the wings and the tail there I end up changing later it just did not give me enough control authority I mean it looks closer to what uh, to the ATN than what I actually ended up with but uh, it didn't really work for actually flying the damn thing and I'm putting some weight there in the nose because my god is the center of gravity off on this like very off <laughs> you can see that the uh, the center of lift is way back there then I'm gonna add some hard points uh, on the wings and uh, now we're adding like the little radar dish looking thing on the back I'll, I'll put a picture over here but yeah I don't know what it is put some bombs on there and then we're just gonna completely yank a uh, the guided missile off of the f-18 that I made in an earlier video go check that out I'll put it up here and uh, yeah, we're just going to yank that and put that on the bottom. <laughs> and then uh, some uh, little missiles that I use for pretty much everything, even though they really don't do any damage. But hey, I got them to fly straight finally. <laughs> and we're just going to mess around with the, the missiles and then try to launch it. And it's pulling to the left. And I'm like, what's going on here? This thing's just going in circles. If you look really closely here, you can see the problem somewhere along the lines it's probably in the build there I, I turned the landing gear pointing left in the front there and I notice it right there and I'm like I'm such an idiot so I referred it and straighten it out I don't know how that happens <laughs> but yeah uh, it didn't really want to fly uh, as you'll see here it just did not have enough control authority over that uh, tail and everything so it would it would barely get off the ground all the way out here but then directly into the ocean so reverting again then then I just stick like the two bigger control surface things over top of the back wings I don't know why I did that 
I could have just removed them. I think I was just want, not wanting to go through with the hassle of uh, removing the back tail section. So uh, I just stuck them over. This, this, it, it worked better. But as you can see, it's like full open there and it's still barely keeping the nose up where it's so nose heavy to the center of lift. So uh, I go back in and just completely replace the tails. So there's no like tail lift and they'll move the center of lift farther up toward the center of mass and moi works like a charm still not perfect uh ended up tweaking the position of the engines later but hey it actually flies now <laughs> let's say i got some cool shots here pretty low frame rate because uh my computer struggles with kerbal space program but uh we're flying this over to a very special target you may have seen in the beginning of the video and uh i've been learning uh camera tools a little bit as you can tell <laughs> trying to figure out all the different camera modes like dogfight mode that I'm using here and uh, you can get some pretty cool visuals so in this first pass we're just going to show off the A-10 and not really show what it's doing to the target and there's the bird there's the cannon fire I don't think you can get much more close of a swoop than what I got there I damn near touched the ground with the uh, hard points but uh, hey there you go <laughs> totally meant to do that and uh, you might not see it here, but I went right into the drink. Uh, so I went back and readjusted the positions of the engines, pointed the thrust more toward the center of mass, and now it flies like perfectly, no complaints. So I had a lot of fun getting these uh, cinematic shots and stuff, just flying the thing around. And then we're going to come in, and this is the crater crawler <laughs> stock thing. Uh, and we're just going to light that thing up with the cannons. This can fly extremely slowly, given all the wing area it has. Like, you can get down to like 40, 50 meters per second comfortably. <laughs> Completely missed with the bombs there. I get better as it goes along. I get way better. It's just a matter of like learning things. But I got pretty mad about missing those bombs, so I decided to drop the guided missile and uh, kind of pilot it myself. So I point to the target, lock onto the target, and I'm a little bit off, so I'm like steering it, controlling it, and somehow I actually hit it. <laughs> when I tell you I felt cool after this happened, I felt really damn cool. <laughs> There's a little replay of what happened. <laughs> and then we're gonna light this thing up again. And I think I hit something, just judging by the frame rate drop there. But uh, we don't end up checking it out. It's just a little bit too difficult of a target. So we got something bigger and wider that will uh, show it's a little bit easier. So we're going to relaunch the A-10 because I crashed it after every single one of these. I'm not going to lie to you. And uh, come in here for a first meeting between the, uh, what is it called? Like the Mallard? It's just another stock plane. Hey, if you guys have any tanks or anything like that. I'll do a follow-up video and blow up some tanks that you guys have made. There's the pass. There's the beautiful, beautiful pass that I did that was that was showing off the cannon in its best ability. So I come in and drop some bombs on it too. Direct hit with the bombs. Uh, this is when I really got the hang of uh, targeting with this, which this is completely stock, so this is just me going completely by instinctual uh, drop it here and it may hit. Um, the rockets uh, the, don't talk about the rockets so as you see we blew a wing off blew the engines up that the thing is very well neutralized so we're gonna let out our anger for uh, a lowered budget I guess on the uh, <laughs> on the space center now and as you can see again these this cannon is just insane in what it can do it fires like 24 rounds instantly and then you've got a second burst and they, they're going really fast i just wish it had more of the sound and not so much the <laughs> kind of noise that it does <laughs> and watch this now this this it may be the end of the world i'm gonna warn you guys because as you can see there i'm trying to land and watch how it goes i actually landed the damn thing I actually landed the thing. This is the first video, I think. Correct me if I'm wrong. Where I actually land something properly. 
Shocker. But anyway, <laughs> if you guys like this video, you'll like my other replica videos. I've been doing this for a little while now. I've got several planes under my belt. And I'll put a link to the playlist over here on the right side. And uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. It, it really, really helps. We're at like 620, something like that, when I'm making this video. So uh, also pop in the Discord if you uh, really like my stuff and you want to show off your builds. Or like I said, uh, drop uh, like a target for my A-10, I guess. Uh, <laughs> tell me about it in the Discord. You can chat with me directly in there. And uh, I try to respond to everything. Uh, other than that, there's nothing else. So I'm going to go fly my A-10 around some more or be a submarine, I guess. <laughs>